Hey everyone, Kyle once again. Welcome back to another um, movie review, but um, slash you know another episode review technically. Back to reviewing um, another uh, Goosebumps episode, um, which is also another another good one, you know. Well, I would say all, all of all of them are good ones though, but one of the even one of the, one also one of the best ones as well. And so all this for this episode we're we'll reviewing is first I will show the book, the very first Goosebumps book, Welcome to Dead House. The very first Goosebumps book. Let's see, because you can't see really just the glare right there. There you go. And then here's the DVD, which is not which is not in the combo pack like I had my. My other episodes had, you know, like t Nine Terror Tower, or Stay Out of the Basement, you know, or etc. You know, this is this is one. This is, this is just a single DVD, you know, an older an older DVD, you know. But I'm fine with it, you know. If it doesn't have it on a combo pack, I'll just accept to have this as what it is. But uh, welcome. But anyway, getting back, you know, welcome to Dead House. Um, like I said, based on the very on the very first book, you know. Um, I I like I I like the episode um, and a lot because you know this is all the stuff the episodes episodes that me and my brother just grew up watching. You know, we always enjoyed mo um, the episodes. You know, especially the ones our favorites. And I also have this on the old VHS tape. Like I previously my my, my previous view was how I had the old VHS tape to um, stay out of the basement and. Night and Terror Tower. I do have it stored away though, but I just didn't feel like I'd gain, gain the going through all the ones that I gained the old VHS tape. So, but I do have it. So it's like it's like I have my uh, my it's like the look of it. The VHS tape is from my previous two ones I had, but it's just the same look of that. But Welcome to the House, you know. But so in um, getting into the story, you know. Um, of course, it's about you know a family that will move that moves to um to Dark Falls, and a family yeah they they move to they want to move to a new house in Dark Falls, and the two two kids, um, was uh, Josh and Amanda, and they also brought along their dog, Petey. Which also you know some of you um do you use um lots some in some episodes you know how they use um collies you know in episodes you know this one had a collie and another episode um part one part one part two was um monster blood you know well I know those other episodes had different dogs though but ones I ever most remember where they used collies in this you know but oh well just saying um so they they move to the new house they meet um they go inside the house and um. Amanda goes into this room that which will she be uh, sleeping in? She gets uh, actually gets scared by um, the realtor named um, Mr. Dawson, I think was the the guy's name, who's selling in the house. And they um, the mother had brought up uh, this uh, wreath, you know, to hang up, you know. And and since um, which Amanda thinks that you know ever since they moved the house. Things have been things, strange things have been happening all because of the wreath, you know. So we shall probably say it later, you know. So they bring this wreath to hang it up, you know. And like Josh just does of course Josh doesn't like doesn't like to move, you know. And like during the first during the first night, you know, um Amanda sees somebody, you know, a figure which he thought was Josh, you know, but it wasn't. Um, and then by the next um, morning, um, the the two kids take the dog for a walk. They will look around the neighborhood like everybody's like shutting their, I feel like some people are sh shutting their windows, you know, or uh, they see a guy, you know, like sawing something, doesn't say anything, you know, he looks at the sign, like goes back in, you know. And then they meet um, these uh, group of kids, you know, and including also uh, another uh, older girl, like the girl's age, named uh, 
I think it was, I forget, it was it Karen, I think it was. And, and of course, uh, as soon as they see, see the sun, they'll, they'll go away, you know. Because they, because they will, because Josh said he, he was the playing baseball, because he was a good baseball player, he said. Um, but then they go, the kids run off because they, because they see the sun, you know. And then during, like, the, the next night, you know, um, in this uh, closet where I'm um, in Amanda's room, there's this uh, tall uh, girl, this tall girl saying "get away," something like that. Get away, you know. She she gets she gets scared, you know. And then they go into her closet and see there's this hole in the wall, you know. And the father patches it up, you know. And now Amanda is thinking there's something wrong with the house, you know. It's something's not right, you know. It's getting weird and strange. Um, and then they go on, they go on to the backyard, um, P starts, uh, barking what's over behind the fence, you know, and, well, first up, well, the first up, there's, like, um, a couple of, uh, Josh that reaches his arm into, um, you know, the door, the, the, the door outside to, um, a cellar or whatever, you know, he reaches his arm and he pulls out a quarter, you know, then that's when the dark starts barking what's on the other side of the, fence, you know, then all of a sudden a hand starts, opens up one of the wooden planks of the door, you know, and then the, then the next night, as when Mana is sleeping, and the same, part of the same hand just goes and punches a hole right through that, that, that hole where the father patched it up, you know, then they hear cheers, noises, they bring, they bring him in, you know, they open the door, Petey grabs something from that was on the floor, and then they, it says, um, the, what he had was a newspaper that said chemical factory that killed workers, you know. And they hear the, they tell this to the realtor, you know, that happened a few years ago, you know, it was something to worry about. Um, so later, um, um, Karen visits um, Amanda, you know, to talk. Josh uh, was looking for a PD, you know to feed him, and then he sees that he's gone, he went through that hole in the fence, you know. Hmm. So, but he wants to go out and look for him, and he disobeys, you know, and goes out through the fence, and Amanda follows, goes and follows him, you know. He, they find, they find P, but he's black and weird, you know, so he goes to, like, stares at them and goes and runs away. And then, they both look, uh, they'll go to this gate of a cemetery, you know, and then, they hear voices, and they they find that um, there's a, there's a crowd now just talking, you know, and which they don't know that they are dead people, or in other words, zombies basically. It's like it's like this is a kitty a kitty's version of zombies, you know, that they're not they're not the they're not the zombies that they just want to you know tear you apart, you know, or go you know, graphic all that now. They, they, these zombies, they're just, like, ordinary, ordinary people, though you can see, like, they have, like, some, um, skin tearing, or, you know, like, some little bit decaying skin, you know, but, something that, you know, detail, though, but they're just, like, they're, like, all gray, you know, and they're just ordinary, they're talk. they're just ordinary people, they're, like, they're talking, discussing what to do, because, um, they, they're, the two kids are listening, and they're hearing what, um, you know, saying that we should, we should have done it right as soon as they moved in, you know. And they got sort of like the guy in charge, you know, like, here, you know, well, there's like, with the guy who was like, the guess you say like the mayor, you know, he's like, you know, or another guy here with, the, with this uh, zombie hero, with this, uh, with a hard hat, you know, but really enough, this guy here who plays, um, who's the hard hat zombie right here, he's actually the guy who plays the masked mutant in the episode, Attack of the Mutant, you know, which is, which is another uh, popular episode as well, you know. Yeah, so that guy who plays um the zombie with the uh, the hard hat, you know, or was he was it says in the credits um the the hard hat worker, the one standing next to the mayor, he's the guy who plays the mass mutant in the episode Attack of the Mutant. Yeah, and so he's like, he's like, look at me, I don't he says, look at me, I don't have any more time, I need to feed now, and so uh, the mayor goes, you know, you'll go first, the rest will follow. By sunset, we'll all Eat. That guy always got with was a kind of a funny line. How you know says we'll all eat, you know, because there's because now there's zombies and need to eat, you know, 
And they said they don't want to eat. They said that all they need is this, they need blood. That's all they need. You know, they don't say anything graphic like that. Well, we need your we need your brains or anything. This is they'll just need the blood. You know, blood. <laughs> so yeah, this is, a, this is a kid. This is about as a kid's version of zombies. You know, kids are ever going to see and without all these different zombies. You know, they'll want to tear you apart. You know, but no. I just thought it was fine. You know, I thought it was kind of a I thought it was a different way to for use for zombies, you know, showing Arl Stein's imagination that uh, you know, they could take you know, we can tone it down on how zombies are and make them just look like ordinary people except they wanna feed, you know, because 'cause they're dead, you know, they need blood, you know. So they here they then they of course they of course typically, you know, they get caught because they make one of them steps on like on a branch or something and they hear it, you know, like, Who's there? you know. And uh, the hard hat or zombie goes, you know, no, 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 don't leave. We need you, you know. So they run, they run to the um this guy at which um they met, they met, they met um from earlier. Name I'm Ray, you know. And he says, you know, um, he says I'm the Watcher. I lived in your house. Your room was my room. Before I died, they needed my blood to stay alive. You know, then the mayor, and the, the mayor goes. Now, now we need yours. Please don't be afraid, you know. And then the hard hat um, worker puts his hand on her shoulder. Then when the sunlight ray, you know, the sunlight hits his hand and starts burning up, you know. It burns him. So they run. They get they get to the gate, but um, the hard hatter grabs her by the ankle, you know. Because I go like, ah, you know. But they, but they manage to get away. They run all the way up to the house, you know. They tell they tell what's going on. There's, there's a bunch of dead people walking around, you know, and they're in there with the parents, and also um Karen's parents as well uh, as they're well, you know. They tell you to block the doors and windows, you know. And uh, Amanda is saying that you know it's the wreath, you know, that thing is evil, you know. It's everything's been arrested since we got here, you know. So tells them to burn the wreath, you know. What she does, they burn the wreath. They assume first they go away for a second, and they come back. That was not it because, and now they're all laughing because. We destroyed. We destroyed the only. Th that was the only thing that would protect you, because that thing was. The only reason that's why they couldn't feed it on as soon as they moved in, because of that reef, because it was like a protection from these zombies. You know, I guess. You know, I. I know it sounds like. I know it sounds like a little bit, you know, iffy, you know, or. You know how the how this thing could protect protect people from, well, protect it from evil. You know, I guess, but. You know, it seems, it seems a little. You know, uh, what was it? It's not. I'm not looking for the word iffy, but um, I don't know how. What was a word? I'm not gonna say cheesy. That's not a word for to use. You know, but um, I don't know what to say. But but I know there's a word for it though. But yeah, but you can think it was. Yeah, it's a little bit. You know, I'm just gonna say iffy because that's that's where I thought of before though, and. Why not? But yeah, that that thing was that was their only protection. Now there's nothing who can stop them now from feeding, you know. So they run upstairs. Um, they're they're running in this hallway, and the mayor says, you know, well, here here we all are. Then the hard hatter breaks through the wall, you know, it's like no speech there. I am starving, you know. They go. They run up. What the stairs some more than one other zombie, which is like um a cop, you know, breaks through the stairs, grabs uh, the dad by the legs, you know. Um, they go. They go running all the way up to the attic, you know. The father tries to like to block them, but doesn't do any good. They all. One other guy breaks through the wall. They grab the mother and father, you know, and the mayor's like, no, oh, hold hold it, everybody, you know. So who try to like wants to take well. As they're talking about that, you know, who gets to go first, you know. Um, Amanda comes with the idea of why all the windows are boarded up, you know, because they just keep us two and two together, how all the people ran away when the sun came out, so they're afraid of the sunlight. So they try to, they, uh, her and Josh, they pry the, the board, the, the wood off, you know, let the sunlight in, you know. While the others ran away, all the others who were staying in the sun, or staying in the sunlight, they, well, you could say melted, but, um, they didn't like melt those lately. They turn into a pile of steam, you know. Like, you show, like, each of them two at a time, you know. They just like this, you know, then 
they just banish it into a pile of steam, you know, until it's nothing left but the clothes on the floor, you know. But that's another way to, well, another, well, it's another way to kill zombies, though, because, you know, well, in the world of Goosebumps, you can, you know, so the only way to kill zombies is just expose them to sunlight, and they'll just banish to steam and leave nothing but the clothes there on the floor. So they, so they get into their van, they see that the, the realtor, Mr. Dawson, he's a zombie too, you know, that's why he purposely, um, he's been, he's been luring other people there to this house for, for a long, for a long time, for people, for them to feed, you know. And, you know, and as they drive away, the, the guy just is, is, is pleading, he's like, please, you don't see, understand, I need you, come back, come back. Dark Falls need you. I'm hungry. <laughs> like, oh, I always laugh at that part, you know. Well, because, you know, they're zombies. That's why they're hungry, you know. <laughs> but I can just laugh at that part, though. And then as, as they're driving along, they see they see, they see their dog. They pick him up. And then they say oh, something, something else was wrong with him. He starts turning all gray, you know. So now he's like a, a zombie dog as well, you know. And of course, this is also one of the one of the, one of the episodes where, she, um, before the episode starts, you see um, R. L. Stein, you know, t talking about the episode, you know, welcome to Dead House and this and that, you know, and then it shows um, R. L. Stein at the end, you know, he's talking to the, he's talking to the dog, uh, you know, to the dog that was in the episode. And he's like, Petey, for a dog, you're a great actor. You really scare me when you play dead. And then the dog starts turning gray again, you know, starts whimpering, you know, and he's like. Uh, you're acting now, right? Oh, uh, he's good. He's really good, you know. <laughs> so yeah, I, I I like the episode Welcome to the Dead House. I I do. It was always and of course it's always nice to see Arl Stein introduced in one of the one of the episodes, you know. Like he does for a few of them, like for Night and Terror Tower and the Haunted Mask, Haunted Mask Two, you know, and um, the Werewolf of Fever Swamp, you know. But yeah, so it's nice to see Arl Stein, Arl Stein, you know. He's a he's a he's a he's a really good author. I guess grew up with these books. I always always enjoy reading reading these books, you know. Um, but um, now with this is like like I said before, it's it's a it's a good another good episode, you know. Especially way um you know how the you how they make how they make the zombies are you know harmless for perfectly harm harmless you know for kids to watch you know. Um, the differences, I won't say much, but I think one, one of the differences, which is, um, in the book, you know, well, in this episode, how the people died and how they got turned to zombies is because of the, this, what happened at, at a chemical factory, though, but, um, of course, in the book, that's not how it happened in the book, you know, it's just, it was, it's, it was the house that turned the people into zombies, not a chemical factory that's in the TV episode, though. And yeah, that's probably one of the, one of the major differences. It's in the book, you know. And like I said before, the guy who plays um the zombie wearing the hard hat, you know, he's the like I said before, he's the who plays the masked mutant in the episode Attack of the Mutant. And the kid who we we'll recognize played um Josh. Um, he's been he's been in two other episodes as well. You've seen him in um A Shocker on Shock Street. He was the the kid um, in the book of uh, Marty, and he was also in the episode Piano Lessons Can Be Murder as well, you know. So yeah, so no, uh, he's a couple of people from other episodes, and there's also other um, kids, kid actors I've seen in different episodes that have been in other episodes as well, you know. Um, so yeah, I, I like this episode. I like this episode. I really do, you know. It's I would also put it in my um, top favorite episodes, you know. Um, the actors, you know, they were, they were good as, they were good, you know, the people who played the zombies, you know, like the main, the main character zombies, like the mayor and, um, the hard hatter, the guy who played the mask, will go on to play the mask mutant, um, they were, they were both good, um, other, other ones that were good as well, you know, well, especially the main, the main two of that I know of, you know, the, the, the hard hatter and, uh, the mayor, you know, so, yeah. Welcome to Dead House, from the based on the the very first Goosebump book. I really do enjoy the episode, you know. Um, so yeah, and um, 
I think this will. I think this will be it for, 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 for. This will be it for now, though. But I will review more episodes later on, though. But I just want to get into a few of the few of the the good episodes before the movie comes out, you know. Uh, but I will review more episodes, probably towards maybe towards when it gets close to Halloween, you know, and so I'll review more. But it's because there are other things I want to review this month as well, other on horror, other horror films as well, you know. But um. But I just wanted, before the movie comes out, I just wanted to get in a couple of the good episodes, you know. Still, like, Stay Out of the Basement, that's, a, that's another good one. Nine Terror Tower, um, How to Kill a Monster. This one, Welcome to Dead House. And I know if I, and I know, if I don't, and I know sometime close to Halloween, I'll, I will review um, The Haunted Mask, you know, because that's, that's, that's like, as anybody would say, probably what people would say is that's the best episode of the series, you know. And of course, it's also R. L. Stein's favorite story, you know. And uh, people also will say, "Oh, you can review the Haunted Mask because close to Halloween, you know." I uh, don't worry, I will. I'll review the Haunted Mask and a couple other ones before Halloween, you know. Because there's some other good ones that I like to review before Halloween, you know. But these, are, but I just wanted to review a couple of ones before the movie comes out, you know. That's one I'm looking forward to all year long, you know. So, yeah. That's my review for uh, Welcome to Dead House. To show these one last time, you know, I'm including this in the book. Yeah, so that's my review for Welcome to Dead House. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned on the next uh, movie review, and I'll stay tuned for more, more, a couple more reviews of these episodes here of Goosebumps. And we'll see you later.